Good morning everyone, Scott Luthold here with 4 Expedition. Welcome back to another episode on our Facebook and YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm coming to you from Door County, Wisconsin. And Door County is a peninsula on the northeastern shore of Wisconsin that juts out into Lake Michigan. And on the northwest shoreline of Door County Peninsula you have Green Bay and on the southeast shoreline you have Lake Michigan and on both sides there are a lot of beautiful beaches, a lot of really nice little harbor towns. It's kind of a Martha's Vineyard kind of place for the Midwest. A lot of people from Chicago come up here for vacations and so forth. I grew up here. My grandparents used to run a cabin resort up in Fish Creek outside of a really beautiful state park called Peninsula State Park. And I used to teach sailing and windsurfing on the beach at that state park when I was in high school in the summer times. So this is a very special place to me up here, and uh, I like to come up here every once in a while. My good friend Dana lives here. He's got a cabin in the woods, and he offered his cabin up to me to stay in while he vacationed in Colorado. So I took him up on that, and he was gracious, gracious enough to offer up to me all of the amenities of his place here. He's got a nice fishing boat. He's got a, a water ski boat. He's got canoes and kayaks. Uh, he's got a nice Silverado pickup truck that he told me I could use if I wanted to. Uh, we're really we're only about a half a mile off the shore here of Green Bay uh, in an area called Sawyer Harbor. <clears throat> um, Sawyer Harbor is real close by to a town of the town of Sturgeon Bay. And Sturgeon Bay is a really uh, neat little town. There's a lot of shipbuilding that goes on here, so there's a lot of big ships in the harbor. And, and it's just really a, a cool place. Anyway, I plan on doing some paddling here, maybe do some fishing. Uh, I will probably also do some mountain biking and hiking in some of the state parks. Maybe go up to Washington Island, which requires a ferry ride. It's just uh, going to be a really great week, and I really wanted to share that with you. A lot of people have never been to Wisconsin. I talk to a lot of people who ask where I'm from, and I say I'm from here. And, and most people that I talk to say, you know, I've never actually been to Wisconsin. And what I would like to share with all of you is just how extraordinary this, extraordinary this place really is. There's just over, there's thousands of lakes here. There's awesome shoreline. There's beautiful thick forests. It's just teeming with wildlife. In fact, right out the window this morning, I saw uh, deer and I saw turkey and uh, hummingbirds around five o'clock in the morning, just looking out the kitchen window. Um, my father and a number of his friends used to have a hunting and fishing cabin up in far northern Wisconsin, which is called the North Woods. So I grew up spending a lot of time in the wilderness of Wisconsin uh, doing canoeing and uh, fishing and uh, I never really got into doing hunting because I was pretty young but my brother and my dad and a lot of his cronies got together and would go up there and do some really uh, awesome epic uh, fall time hunting trips. But uh, that never really settled in with me too much. I don't do much hunting per se. I like to do some fishing. I'm, looking at taking up some fly fishing and so forth. But anyhow, it's just such a beautiful place here, so I thought I'd share the experience with you, and, and uh, maybe you could just sit back in your armchair once again and come along for the ride. So I'm walking the Ice Age Trail, which uh, traverses through Potawatomi State Park. Not a lot of people realize that Wisconsin has a lot of geological features that are remnants of the Ice Age. And uh, 
Some people got together and coordinated a beautiful hiking trail that basically starts over on the northwestern border of Wisconsin up by the St. Croix River and it basically does an S pattern through Wisconsin that drops down toward Madison and then back up and actually ends right here at Pottawatomie State Park. And uh, I'm not exactly sure how many miles it is, so when I get back, I will do a little research on that and put a little information about that on here. But it's just a, a, an absolutely extraordinary backpacking trip. And some of the geological features include things like Kettle Moraine State Park. There's things called kettles. And as the glacier came across the land, it uh, dug these interesting long troughs and bowls that uh, are really, really interesting. But uh, it's just a beautiful place to backpack and really get a full feel for Wisconsin. So most of Door County has a lot of agriculture nowadays, but at one time the whole peninsula was covered in thick hardwood forests. And there's only a few really uh, large stands of uh, forest anymore on the peninsula. And this is one of them. This is Pottawatomie State Park. There's also Peninsula State Park. And there are a couple of other state parks also on the peninsula that have a lot of beautiful uh, flora, fauna, thick forests. Uh, Pottawatomie isn't really visited that often, whereas Peninsula State Park is visited quite often. Pottawatomie is located just southeast of the town of Sturgeon Bay, but it's just a beautiful place to hike. I've only seen one person since I've been hiking in here today. Other times I've come through here, I haven't really seen hardly anybody, and if you come through here in the fall, the trees are just absolutely beautiful with color. So in about a month's time, Dana and I will be joining a couple of other guys and doing a five-day paddling trip up on the Boundary Waters, which uh, I've told you about before, is between uh, right on the border of Minnesota and Canada. And it's just really a beautiful, uh, beautiful, rugged, rugged wilderness. And Dana spent a lot of time up there doing paddling. And we were supposed to do this a couple of years ago, and he got injured in a motorcycle accident. We weren't able to do that. So... I'm really looking forward to uh, spending some time with Dana up there and, and uh, participating in that event. We'll be doing some fishing and probably uh, catching a lot of our meals that we'll be eating in the evenings. And that's, that's happening sometime in the middle to the end of July, and it's currently the early part of June right now. So it'll be a real nice time, and I'm looking forward to that. So this is a bit of a foreshadowing to that experience. So one of the things that's most impressive about Sturgeon Bay is that it's the place in the peninsula where a man-made canal was constructed that connects Lake Michigan with Green Bay. And the man-made canal was completed in 1878 and it effectively reduced the shipping distance by about 150 miles from Milwaukee uh, at Chicago to Green Bay. In the first year, only a couple of hundred ships made its way through the canal, but I think by the next year, there were somewhere in the neighborhood of over 3,000 ships that passed through the canal. Over time, the profits did not keep up with the canal's expenses, and the investors who constructed the canal eventually sold it off to the U.S. government. But the canal is still used very often for ship transport between Milwaukee and Chicago and Green Bay. There is some manufacturing and things that go on in Green Bay, and and there's uh, a lot of ship, uh, ship traffic that passes through. And what it did was it effectively allowed the ships to avoid going around the tip of the peninsula, which is called Death's Door. And that's uh, the reason for the name of the Door County Peninsula.
Today I'm here in Peninsula State Park. Peninsula State Park is located just outside of the town of Fish Creek, Wisconsin. It's a beautiful, very, very large state park. It's got a lot of really nice bicycle trails throughout the whole thing. A lot of great hiking. There's a beach here called Nicolay Bay Beach. And when I was in high school, I spent my summers here. My grandparents ran a cabin resort in Fish Creek called the Bond Villa Cottages. And um, I would live with them in the summers and I'd work in the state park for a company called the Tatman Foundation. And the Tatman Foundation is well known in California because they do a lot of research on the Channel Islands. But here in the Midwest on Lake Michigan, Tatman Foundation at the time ran a sailing and windsurfing rental and training. So I came to work for them. I would teach sailing on 16 foot sailboats. I'd teach windsurfing, rent out canoes. On occasion, I would work out on Strawberry Island, which was an island that the family owned that I'd be building, building docks and just doing cleanup work out on the island. But today, today I've rented a mountain bike and I'm doing some bicycling in the state park. And I thought it'd be really nice to share that with you because the acreage of this state park is enormous. And it's all, it's on this beautiful shoreline through thick old growth hardwoods and cedars and various different kinds of pine, teeming with wildlife out here as well. So. It's just a really beautiful place, so enjoy this, uh, enjoy this little bike ride with me. So as I was saying, I used to work out here on an island called Little Strawberry Island. And if you look out here, there's two islands here. So this one here is, I think it's called Big Strawberry Island. And then there's a little island right here called Little Strawberry. So one thing Door County is really well known for is lighthouses. In the whole area around the peninsula and over into Michigan on the other side of Green Bay, there are a lot of lighthouses you can visit. And this one's called Eagle Bluff Lighthouse. It was built in the 1800s. And there was a family of seven people who lived here. And I just took a tour of it. It's pretty amazing. It's, a, it's actually quite large inside. And they had a winter kitchen and a summer kitchen. They actually powered the lighthouse with pig lard pig lard would only last about an hour so you'd have to go up to the lighthouse and uh, relight the the light pretty much every hour so it was a big job we're up on a bluff here and fresh water was always obtained by going down to the lake to get the water and uh, the, the seven boys that lived here were pretty tired of doing that so they talked their parents into building a well and there's a well right behind me here that'll show you but the well uh, is about 70 feet down. There's a lot of rock that they had to drill through. And they actually put a horse on a treadmill on an angle. And apparently when horses are on an incline, they'll keep walking. And so they had a horse here that walked on a treadmill for about eight hours a day for two solid years to power a drill, to drill down to the water level and, and uh, hit water for their well. called Nicolay Bay. We're on Green Bay. That's Horseshoe Island out there. And um, there's a peninsula here, a peninsula over on this side. That's Eagle Bluff over there. We used to have to drive a Boston whaler. To work every day from the town of Ephraim, I was studying to become certified with the Coast Guard Auxiliary at the time because we had to do rescues with the whaler. Sometimes it'd be the eight to 10 foot swells out here and people would get stuck with the sailboats, capsizing them and we'd have to go do rescues. A real special time of my life back then actually. Some of the best memories I've had of my childhood really. Living with my grandparents up here and spending summers with kids that were 
working up here for the summer from all over the place. So if anyone knows anything about Wisconsin, they know that Wisconsin is the dairy state. So one of my favorite things in Door County to, uh, to pick up while I'm here is um, string cheese. And a lot of people aren't really familiar with string and rope cheese the way I am from Wisconsin. The stuff you get in the grocery stores in the, in the west and different parts of the country is just typically not your typical uh, string cheese. But these things are huge. And when you peel them away, they really, um, they really do represent a, a string. So today I decided to get up and head over to the Lake Michigan side of the peninsula toward Bailey's Harbor and Jackson Port. And I stopped off at Whitefish Dunes State Park, which is a really nice dunes area where there's a lot of beaches. People go there a lot in the summertime and lay out in the sun and play on Lake Michigan here. And this is, this is Lake Michigan. I'm currently sitting on a cliff at Cave Point. And Cave Point's a beautiful rock outcropping that has a shoreline with crashing waves and you sit here and you look out at Lake Michigan it just it's amazing it looks like the ocean it just goes into oblivion as far as the eye can see it's just really amazing to consider the fact that this is a freshwater lake there's a lot of sailing here there's shipwrecks that you can dive to Amazing kayaking, paddling, um, and of course, when you're diving here, you don't have to worry about sharks or, or uh, sea creatures that might eat you alive. Today I'm heading up the coast on the Lake Michigan side. I'm going to go to uh, Canna Island, and there's a lighthouse on this island, and you can walk out to it when the water's low, but if the water's high, it's usually a couple feet deep on the road that heads out to the island. And you just have to take off your shoes and socks and walk through the water and head out to the island. And after that, I'm going up to stay at Gordon Lodge, which is this beautiful, old, historic, nostalgic lodge on a point that's just covered in pine. It's just a beautiful spot, and I'm looking forward to that. I've got a cottage there with a fireplace, and it's just going to be really great up there tonight. So one of my favorite places in Door County is Boynton Chapel, which sits on the Lawrence University grounds. This chapel was built in the 12th century Norwegian stave chapel style by Widfried and Donald Boynton back in the late 1930s, early 1940s. It's just a wonderful little place to come. I've had friends share with me that they got married here in the past. They do open it up for tours every once in a while. The Lawrence University grounds is really beautiful. They have a, an arts center here where people come from all over the state and stay here in dorm rooms to take arts classes, professional arts classes and so on. There's also a Shakespeare festival that's held here. The grounds here are just really beautiful and I thought I'd take a second to walk you around and show you. 
if I were to buy a piece of land and build some kind of a facility like this, which is something that I do have in mind for my future, it would be very similar to what you see here. Here we are, we're heading out to Canna Island. And certain times of the year, the road uh, between the island and the mainland is exposed and you can walk across on dry land. However, also other times of the year, there's water covering over the road. You can still walk across. It's only probably, uh, you know, maybe a foot deep. You can see the bottom right there. But it turns out that the Maritime Museum is offering a ride across. So. I'm hopping on, um, I guess this isn't really called a hayride, but you get the idea. Uh, what's really cool about this lighthouse is that we get to go all the way to the top and walk around outside. This is the real deal. It's about 12 bucks to get in. You pay as soon as you get on the island and you get a full tour of this entire lighthouse. about this lighthouse is we're allowed to go outside on the deck. It's windy as hell up here.
Gordon Lodge is your typical family historic lodge in Wisconsin. They offer bicycling, kayaking, deep sea fishing. Uh, there's no water sports here. I guess it's uh, they consider it to be a liability, but there's awesome little cabins along the shoreline. In fact, this one right behind me is just a fantastic example. Look at that thing. There's, it's right on a stone cliff. Looks straight out over North Bay and um, they get to look at really pretty sunsets every night. Washington Island there's another island called Rock Island and it's a really great state park island great for camping backpacking you basically walk out onto that island and uh, there are camp spots there there's uh, I think a, a loop hike around five or six miles that you can um, backpack around the island but there's really not much in the way of any conveniences or structures on the island just at the very south tip I decided to drive across. Uh, there's a lot to do out on the island, so and it's a pretty good size island, so you can either rent bicycles or mopeds or drive your vehicle out there. So we're going to catch a ferry ride. One of the things that makes Door County so special is all the apple orchards, cherry orchards, and grape vineyards. As I mentioned earlier, Door County is very much like Martha's Vineyard or even Napa Valley for the Midwest. A lot of people come here at different seasons to pick apples, pick cherries, do wine tasting. Um, sometimes uh, in the fall they come up and pick pumpkins from the pumpkin patches. In the winter time there's a lot of really nice winter activities to come up here to, to feel the holiday season. Currently I'm at a little orchard um, just outside of Fish Creek, Wisconsin, which is a little harbor town on the Green Bay side of the peninsula. I'm just walking around the grounds and enjoying the scenery. <laughs> 